Hello everybody, this is Mike Jr. the second. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Star Force 2 Zerker. In the last session, we talked about not only networking, but we also talked about the Wave Command Card Kit. Basically gave a little tiny review of it. Um, real quick, I just wanted to say a few things. I apologize for the audio, you know, the not the audio, the audio shouldn't have been bad, but the, the video recording, like I said, my camera wasn't that good, and I've never had it when I've recorded that for some reason it like glitched out like that before, but it did it for every single one of them. I think it might have been just because the thing, the camera was so close up to the book that it did that. And I also want to apologize that like, I didn't show off more of the codes because I, I, I would like to make these Let's Plays for people that haven't watched them yet, so or haven't played the game yet necessarily. So because of that, I didn't want to start showing off all the bosses and stuff. I didn't mind spoiling that like Cygnus Wing doesn't show up in this game because I already said that Tom doesn't show up in this game. Uh, but still, I thought it was kind of, kind of, you know, it, like I said, it's a mini review. It wasn't like a really big review, so it's not like I was trying to show off every little detail about the thing. But I wanted to make it clear that I do apologize if you're like, why didn't you show off more of the book? Why didn't you do this, that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I was trying to keep it to not spoiling too much in the game. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, today is actually going to be the jobs episode today. Um, I thought about it, but I think I'm just gonna put one of the the blank cards in my deck and not change it up at all. Um, like, cause like I said, I, I cut like the last half of the last session just because I didn't do a good job explaining the codes. I mean, it probably wasn't half bad, but I'm like, eh. But I guess we can at least show off the Sonic Sword, which was one of the abilities, I'll make sure to show it on screen, uh, is one of the abilities you can use uh, in the, or sorry, one of the blank cards you can use your Wave Command co card kit for. Remember to use it on your thing. Press select if you have, oh wait, that's, I forgot to say, you can't actually do it in your folder. If you press select here, it's actually gonna clear out every single card. You have to switch it out Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, that's a star card, yeah. You have to switch it out first, and then you have to... Oh, my God. I really hate how it just moves it around. There we go. Then you have to do it. And by the way, if this is your favorite card, you also have to set a new favorite card. It's really fucking obnoxious. That was, like, the hardest thing for trying to show off cards, because you want to favorite them to make sure you get the cards early so I could show them off in, like, recording, because I, I do have all these codes showed off for... I don't know when I'll do it, but at one of, end of one of the sessions, I'll do it. But anyway, this was actually the sword that got through my shield. Sorry that the opponent got through my shield in the last game because it hits three times in a row, but it's not like... It's not like in the next game where there's like a sword attack where you slash three times or like the Berserker. It's legitimately just a... When he when you get hit once, it does it multiplies it by three, like, you, like it does three ind individual hits. So it's really interesting. So yeah. But anyway, I'll just put that in my deck for now. I don't think I'll do anything else super, super unique. I, I Like I said, I don't mind showing off the standard codes. I don't think that's that big of a deal. It's more about showing off the... Um, not showing off like the, hey, let me show off every single SP, Giga card, etc. when we don't get a Giga card until very end game. You know, I think that'd be a little bit bullshit. So, <laughs> I don't, like I said, I'll probably, uh, actually, I don't know if I said this. I will probably show them off by having my brother, when I start having my uh, real life brothers that I have for all my different versions that I have, I'll probably have them favorite, like, really unique or unavailable cards so then I can see them throughout the thing. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, or I don't know if I said it yet, um, we are going to do jobs today. If you don't remember, jobs is basically the side quests in the game. Mega talked about how if the star carrier is red, which is new to this game, in the last game you just had to look in everybody's fucking transfer and figure it out. Um, but anyway, if you look at the, the star carriers, you would tell, you can see who's happy and who's upset. This guy's pretty, uh, this guy seems to be pretty happy, so we don't need to look in his star carrier, but, uh, that guy isn't happy. I think the woman down here, yeah, she isn't happy. So it's a good idea to go figure out their problems. And along the way, we will also be exploring some things. Now, like I said, uh, the only really, really important thing I showed off last time was that this mailbox... Oh, sorry, I should probably read this. A mailbox. Hardly anybody uses these nowadays, because electronic mail is so much easier and faster. But I like the heart-warm feeling you get from handwritten letters. But isn't writing letters by hand a pain? Yes, it is. Well... It's got postal waves flowing through it. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, so if you go in here on the very back left, unless they change it per version or per playthrough or it's always random, uh, there's an HP Mem 10 back there, so that's the only thing you guys missed out on. So, uh, but while we're doing this, um, I definitely don't mind um, digging in some of these things and figuring some stuff out. The reason why I had to end it in the last session and not do jobs is because I was doing a lot of, uh, well, I did what, three or four recordings that week? And like I said, I, I voice act just regularly, you know, recording games, it's not that fun. <laughs> the voice was not having it. Anyway, here's Don McCartigan. Let's take a look at the Star Carrier. Let's see what we have. Hey. Hey, this kid has a battle card blog. McCart's Cards. Oh, sorry. McCart's Cards. I had a bad day. I saw the latest issue of Battle Card Weekly, 
There was a story about him and his card collection. I never knew he was a collector. That makes the second best co that makes me the second best collector. How can I be number one? He's looking for help. Yeah, he's number two. What you gonna do? Forget him. Yeah, he's better off as number two anyway. Ooh, Mega. Yes, I'm gonna try my best to say no to most of these just because Mega always has some good dialogue. Unless like the last game where when it got to the end it was like they didn't care about doing it. It's like, yeah, whatever. Fuck that guy. <laughs> You're kinder than I am. Alright, let's go talk to him. Better send myself a mail so I don't- Oh no! Where's the better send myself a memo in the mail? See, that was much better. Oh, and I didn't mean to get into this fight. Ooh, ooh, soap, soap. Uh, anyway, um, oh, I also got my cards here as well. That's good. So anyway, uh, we actually have our first Hertz. Uh, keep in mind, as they was as the Hertz was saying, if we rescue these guys in battle, they will give us something good. It is it's usually like 99% of the time an ability wave. I think if you're low on health, they can also help give you health. But yes, I have encountered. So I said last time as well. I did all three of the codes for uh, the item codes for Luna, um, Zack, and Bud. So one of them gave me a uh, plus 50, one of them gave me a plus 200 health, and then the other one gave me a charge V. I'm not going to equip the charge V, but I think health should be fair game. I, I can do it at a later point, just not yet. But um, how should I do this? I think this would be the best option. Okay, come over here, buddy. There we go, and bam. So anyway, once you save these guys, they usually give you something good. There you go, plus 50, 70. Really not that great. Your your best bet is to get 50 50s in terms of the ability waves. And which, by the way, just so I can do it right now, uh, let me show the codes for each of these uh, things so you guys can have them on screen because I would only talked about them in the review. I want to have them while I'm actually playing the game. I have two 50s, one from the... Um, I think this is the one that Zack gives us, and then this one is the one that the regular Hertz gives us. Now, as you can see, these things still aren't as great. You know, plus 70s, that's kind of crappy, honestly. But I think that's just because we're in the beginning area of the game. So, yeah. No, I don't want to equip anything. Actually, can I equip this? It's really... Today's a job episode. It's not that big of a deal. I'll equip it. Not that big of a deal. So, anyway, I shut off the codes for the Bud, Zack, and whatever here. But, um... Oh, yeah, and it doesn't go away until you, uh... Help them out with their problem. But anyway, um, the Hurts can be attacked, though, either by the enemies or yourself. So keep that in mind when you're playing, because if you don't keep that in mind and you kill them, you do not get the special ability or whatever goes on with it. So keep that in mind. Um, make sure you uh, don't make sure you don't kill them. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Ask about. Oh, yeah. So I don't remember if the game let you do this last time, but basically you can uh, just have them do the regular dialogue. Check out the sweet skyboard I bought with my allowance. Matter waves are all the rage now, so it's hard to get them. Or we could just do the Star Carrier. Hey, are you looking for some cards? How'd you know? Yeah, I do need some battle cards. Can you help me? I'm looking for a Fire Ring 1. If you delete one of those Hot Rod Bike viruses, you'll get it. Sorry, if my voice muffled, I was scratching my beard. <laughs> my, my beard, my mustache. Uh, you'd have my undying gratitude if you found one for me. Well, lucky you, buddy. Is that... Is that a Fire Ring 1? Will you give it to me? No way. You're just mean. No, I'm not gonna... I don't know why... No. Be slow, Michael. Okay, there we go. Is that the Fire Ring 1? No, I... Mm. Sure thing. Geo gave away the Fire Ring 1. Yes, thank you. Now I can beat that guy. This is for you. We got an Unlocker subcard. No, I can beat him. So, Unlockers, is how I said in the last... Is the same in the... Is, uh, unlockers are the same as in the last game. Uh, if you find a Purple Matter Wave, or whatever the hell they're called... Um... I believe they're- are they memory waves or matter waves? I can't remember. Matter wave, I think, makes the most sense. But, no wait, it's not a matter wave. That's not what a matter wave is. Those are the- that's the board. <laughs> I would just had matter wave on the brain. But if you find the purple memories, uh, you need an unlocker to get them, so yeah. So that's actually a good find. Anyway, let's see. Actually, we can go into the big wave thing up there. So I think we'll transform into Mega Man, go into that big wave thing up there, and I'll be right back. You know, I like having Mega Man on the ground, but the fact that they have to access the the, the wave road in weird ways has always been kind of annoying to me. But yeah, the, the, I don't know, it's just because, especially with the encounter rate, it's like you're just trying to do something simple. It's like, oh no, I gotta walk my ass all the way up here. Alright, here we go. A rooftop designed to give the impression of a wave. Just looking at it, I can almost hear the sound of crashing surf. It's generating a surfing wave. You want to pulse into the wave world from here? Yep. Now, I could be wrong, but like... The game in the beginning kind of made it seem like you're supposed to, like, open them up like wave roads, like you talk to them and then you unlock them. But I think they unlock themselves throughout the game, but if that's the case, that's really annoying and it's going to make it difficult for me to figure out which thing I have and haven't accessed. 
Good afternoon, I'm not only working my tail off to keep this sign lit, I'm also gathering new data packets from Wilshire Hills. Beep beep. See, that's gotta suck because the dude isn't even in town. What's the point of even advertising this shop if he's not even fucking here? Alrighty then, this should do it. Oh, I love the radar missile. Oh wait, oh yep. Yeah. I hate how they put him like on the very corner. And only 400 Zenny. I did grind up Zenny uh, in the last session, or sorry, after the last session, just because I was trying to find stuff to do while I couldn't record. So I do have some more money, and I will be getting even more in the future because you get a lot from the uh, Wave Command card kit. It's honestly pretty helpful, and it's one of the reasons I'm like, I don't care if I use the Wave Command card kit, because I know some people are gonna be like, Michael, that's cheating, you shouldn't do that. I can probably run away from these fights. Oh, fuck off. So. Again, I'm sure some people are going to be like, but Michael, the Wave Command card kit is cheating and etc, etc, and it's like, look, they give you the option to do it, it's not my fault. You know. Plus, you get a lot of cool stuff. Like, if it weren't for the fact that there's stuff that's not even available in the game, I probably wouldn't have given it that big of a thing, but because you get stuff that you couldn't get originally, it's like, why the hell not? All right, little Miss Bonnie Amora. Let's take a look at the Star Carrier. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Hey, found your secret diary. Date XXX, I can't stop thinking about him. He's always hanging out in the same spot. I can't sleep at night. I wish I could find out more about him. Maybe that blue hero guy will help me. Really? Really, she barely hears about Mega Man. And he's like, maybe Mega Man will help me get a boyfriend. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, that's you, right? Yeah, that's me. But her problems aren't our concern, right? Right, I guess... Don't help. You'll have to wait till later to play Cupid. Oh, I love that. That's a that's a good one. I just realized this girl has the same Link Power as we do, I think. We'll have to check in a second. Help. Oh well. Guess we'll go talk to her and find out what's up. Better send myself a mail so I don't forget. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's been a while, but she had 210 Link Power. Let me check. I'm just going near here. Okay, the, yep, 210 Link Power. Cool. Well, I, I want to get back to the sky screen. Press select again, and what the hell is that badass fucking avatar? So, I, I could talk about this while I walk over here. So, uh, there's a website you can find online, I found it while looking around, where people, um... It's a Japanese website, I'll, I'll tell you that right now, so you probably won't be able to understand most of it, but he does make it easy to understand. Uh, it- he has a lot of cool custom avatar designs. If you've ever, like, looked at videos online of a lot of Star Force stuff and think, wow, some of these people that are good at playing this game, they got some great fucking avatars. They most, most of them that I've seen have been taken from this website. So I will post it in the sidebar and I'll also post it in the description below if I forget someone please remind me. And yeah, um, I will be using a good chunk of that stuff for this game. I think I'll probably change this later on into something that's a lot cooler. But I figure this one right now works out pretty well. It's Geo in his cool little glasses, you know, holding them and shit. So yeah, this took me the better of like an hour, maybe two hours to do just because I'm not really a big pixel thing. So yeah, but it's really cool. Uh, it lets you go in there and do it, so it tells you like all the different colors that you need to kind of make it more dynamic and stuff. So yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. I will be showing off more of these for all the different... For I, I have two already set for my other versions. I'm gonna change this Zerker one to uh, one later on, and then... Uh, but the, the, the Auto Brothers are still gonna be the stupid Dark Cloud things, though. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wanted to post that in the description below, because I was like, that was like the coolest fucking thing. Anyway, let's ask about the Star Carrier. Hello! Hello there. Um, you have someone you're interested in, don't you? Surprised. H how did you know that? There is someone. There's a guy that's in Hills Boulevard, and I want to be his brother. But I'm worried if we... if... if we will hit it off. What if we don't like the same foods? That's a major turnoff. I could ask him for you. Would you? Oh, you'd be doing me a big favor. It'd be awkward to explain why you're asking him those things. We'd fucking talk to the one girl in, in Hills. Just sneak a peek in a star carrier. Yep, so anyway, uh, Hills, so I think that means we have to go to, uh, Wilshire Hills, which, by the way, apparently in the Japanese version it is called Rapunga Hills, and it's actually based off of a shopping mall made Rapunga Hills, I believe? I could be getting it wrong, it might be, like, Rapunga in the Japanese version of this game, and Rapunga Pa or something is the actual version. Do you have anything? No, nope. okay. Alright, cool, cool. 
Well, I guess it's time for us to start exploring Wilshire Hills as well, because if you don't remember, we, uh... <laughs> if, if you can't remember, uh, we didn't really explore- we only explored the area down here. We didn't explore actual Wilshire Hills. I don't know, is this technically considered- oh, no, this is Hills Boulevard. Okay, okay. So, is it this dude? No. I probably could have read that, I guess. How long is she gonna keep me waiting? I told her to meet me in front of the elevator. Ugh. Oh, please tell me. Please fucking tell me. How long is he going to keep me waiting? He said to meet him in front of the elevator. Ugh. Did you really go in your janitor outfit, though, dude? Like, come on. Is she really interested in this businessman? Please, please tell me that's not the case. Okay, I'm off to Wils uh, Wilson Tech for business meeting. She said he was on Hills Boulevard, you lying ass hoe. I don't know why I've been saying lying ass hoe a lot. All right, is it this guy then? No, not Casnova. No, this is Wilshire's Hill. Girl, where's your boy at? This is why I have the FAQ open for jobs. My phone fell and hit me in the dick. <laughs> First world problems, am I right? <laughs> okay, so it apparently it is this guy. But he's like already on a fucking date. <laughs> what what's this whole thing about uh Why is she trying to be a hoe and stealing somebody else's man? Let's take a look in the stir carrier. This girl's talking about this guy. Favorite food, um... Hey, found a journal here. Date, XXX, Cloudy. Had something kinda good happen today. Found some tasty Brussels sprouts. Now that's some good eating. That is fucking terrible. You have the worst taste ever, my dude. His journal is a downer. But now we know he likes Brussels sprouts. Alright, back to the girl to tell her. Oh yeah. Who the fuck likes eating Brussels sprouts? Like, I'm sure there's gonna be people- Michael, they're great. A little bit about- I'm like, no. I, I don't care what you do. <laughs> when I was a kid, I literally puked eating uh, Brussels sprouts. I fucking hate them. I hate things that have no flavor. I've gotten better at that kind of stuff. Like, I kinda- I've been getting more- like, I like the texture of lettuce now. I I've realized I don't- I you should not look for the flavor, but feel more for the texture for that kind of stuff. But still. Alrighty then. No, not- Star Carrier should be the first one, because that's the first option. Why does it start at the bottom? I have no fucking idea. Oh, did you find out? What? Oh, I see. Well, thanks. This is for asking. Geo got the battle card, attack panel. So that's what he likes. Oh, yeah. And attack panel. That's actually one of the cards I have in my brother's deck right now. I thought about updating that since we just I just talked about the Wave Command card kit, but fuck it. So this is actually a really cool card. So did you like these plus 10s? The fact that you can use them to get your hands... Oh, which, what do I want to get rid of? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll get rid of the regular plus 10. I don't really like them. Attack panel. This will make Geo's three panels that he can step on attack panels plus tens. So basically, uh, we can, at three separate occasions, though it has to be depending on the column, we can get plus ten to stuff, and they're usually really easy to set up. So you just, like, immediately just press A in the middle of the battle, make it your first card, and then, bam, go to the side to check out the other ones. So, yeah. I'll show it off, but it's actually really cool. I actually used it once, but because, well, I got it in my deck once from the from the brother, but I didn't show it off because I beat, I beat the fight too quickly. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, uh, technically I should be going to Wilshire Hills, but I want to go show off the other, uh... I think it's just the doghouse right now, which is the same as in the last game. It's kind of the, uh... It's a security system, which is supposed to be a reference to, uh, the Battle Network series. A doghouse-style security system. It's got security waves flowing through it. That sound... Uh, uh, that's the sound of a loud alarm when it detects an intruder. You want to pulse into the wave world from here? Yep. I do, again, I love the wave road in this game. It's so nice. Oop, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Small energy. Ugh. You know, I, I'm get, I'm looking forward to later on in the game when these are going to start just always being plus 10, plus 20 memory. Actually, I don't know if there's any plus 20 memories in this game. I also don't know how I'm going to keep track of these things. Just because of the, um... It's honestly kind of a pain in the ass to, uh... <laughs> keep track of a lot of these. I'm going to be like, wait, which one do I have? Which one's the... which one has the plus 10? Yeah, longsword. Like, who fucking cares for a longsword? I think we get the maximum longswords in the game, so why do they give us more? Like, I never got that. Oop, here we go. Now I can show this thing off. So, yep. And if you forget, forgot, I got the Mad Vulcan uh, two-star card in the, in the last session that I didn't show off in the recording, but I talked about in the review. So anyway, that adds us a plus 10 right here, a plus 10 right there, and a plus 10 right there. So that's what makes it a really nice, like, thing. You know, you can 
lay it out in the field, especially like during a boss fight, and then you can just keep getting plus tens on. Obviously, you have to be on different sides, so it's not like you can just keep. It's not like it's gonna transport to while you're walking, but it's pretty helpful, and I, I always, I always recommend it. Uh, putting it in your deck. I am a doghouse device. Doghouse. Wait. I don't know why I'm being dyslexic today. What the fuck? Uh, I am a security device, doghouse version. If I see someone that shouldn't be here, I start barking. Like this. Wow, 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 woof, woof. That's not how dogs bark, but okay. You do you, buddy. You do you. All right, cool, cool. And I think that was it. Technically, we might be able to go in the Luna's house, but I'm just going to wait it out for that one. You know, the one thing that sucks about grinding money at this point in the game, when we don't have the, um... The Zenny Finder yet, because you will get it later on again in the game. I should say that the majority of things in Star Force 1 re re return in Star Force 2. Not everything, but a majority of things. So we do get a, a, an ability that allows us, a weapon for Mega that allows us to just always get money. But we don't get that until, mm, I'm gonna say three boss fights from now. <laughs> Maybe two if you, if you don't count it being in the actual area as like, let's just say two areas from now, three areas, whatever. So yeah, so it's kind of hard to grind money. You have to actually do bad in fights, and that's always been funny to me. All right, well, time to go help out this woman over here. And then we can um, head up top and do some very, very nice exploration, because there's a lot we can do right now that I did not explore in the last session, or the session before then. Let's take a look at the Star Carrier. Let's see what we have. Hey, found a quiz diary. Date XXX, looking for people to take the next quiz. Enter now. It's a quiz? Don't take. That's fine, it's not- I'm not that interested in quizzes anyway. Yeah, I don't know what's with the Star Force series and quizzes. Did, did the Battle Network series also have, like, side quests and stuff you could do for quizzes? Actually, did this- did the Battle Network series even have, uh... Did they even have, like, side quests in that series? Like, like, important side quests, not like, you know, post-game type stuff, like, just throughout the game? I can't think of anything at all, honestly. I fucking hate- I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna get used to the way it says no on everything. Like, that's really fucking obnoxious. Let's take the quiz. Let's go. Rock on. Oop, oop, nice reference. Better send myself a memo in the mail so I don't forget. I am changing that to I'm sending myself a memo. I don't care. The, the memo sounds better than saying mail. Alrighty then, lady. Let's take your quiz. Ask about the Star Carrier. I can tell about your face. You want a quiz. All right then. So if you remember, quizzes were a lot of things in the first game. I think there was like three or four people that had like their master quizzes that we took. Who called the quiz girl? Who called the quiz girl? It's okay to say. It's okay to play. Hey, hey, ho, ho, quiz power. It's time to go. That They also did that in the last game. Quiz hour of power. Are you ready to take my quiz? Sure. First question. Which of these do you carry around? A star carrier. Correct. First stage clear. Okay, second question. Who's the most popular singer in the world? Bud Bison, S Star Care. Oh my fucking god, Sonia Strum. Correct. You're good. I like how she has to be the most popular. Like she can't just be one of them. She has to be the most popular. You're good. Okay, last question now. Where can I find the movie? Oh, you can find it in the shop. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where. That's so stupid. Anyway, the movie theater should be in the shopping plaza. Correct again. Wow, I never thought you'd get them all right. But you did, so here's your prize. Geo got HP Mem 10. Fuck yeah. Congratulations. Yep, so we got that out of the way, and I think that's it for down here. Yeah, at least for here, we are good to go, and I've already explored everything uh, beforehand. So let's head up top and start doing some things up there. We got a lot to explore. Especially, I want to see what that barrier is up there. I talked about it, I think I talked about it before I did the cutoff, but basically half the time those things are being locked behind Link Power. Anyway, uh, here's, that. usually they want you to unlock it with like your in-game brothers, but instead you're gonna be like, well, here's my sister, my brother, my cousin, everybody who owns this game, except for not because nobody fucking bought the Star Wars series. <laughs> Alrighty then, who is the first to go to get picked up with? Actually, there's not a lot around here. I might just have to be doing more exploring than anything else. I know this old man needs help. We'll, uh, we'll make it a thing to go talk to him. Yeah, there's nobody up here. Goddamn. That's actually really surprising. All right, well, I guess most of this area is going to be exploring. I'll, uh, I'll just talk to the old man along the way. So anyway, I wish I had more to say, but I really don't have much else to say. Um, like I said, this place is actually called Raponga, Raponda in the original version, and it's actually based off of a J Japanese uh, shopping mall. Uh, the IFL Tower is actually called, I forgot the actual name they said in the version, but it's supposed to be a reference to Tokyo Tower. However, something I did not catch 
is while I was reading online, more than likely Eiffel Tower for the English version, which is what it's called here, is probably a reference to the Eiffel Tower, which really pisses me off. I hate, I hate those kind of puns. Aya, I hate coming here. I have acrophobia. We're too high up. Oh, me too, buddy. I, again, I can't believe they don't have fucking rails up here. Gio was able to walk right off of this fucking board. Like, that was, that was ridiculous. Somebody needs to be fired. Oh, ambush panel. I don't know if I got to show that off. It's actually a really cool thing. Let me show it off here. So the ambush panel, you put it in front of something, and then every time you use a card, it will pop up and start shooting at the viruses. So you can cover more of the field that way doing that. I don't think it's, it's an amazing card by any means. It is a support card, so it is a white card, so that's at least a benefit to it. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's pretty cool. I, I do like the idea. All he does is complain about how, how, how high up we are. He doesn't even care about me. Nope. You're missing out, buddy. You could have gotten your, uh... Matter wave sucked? Uh, I don't really know what to do with that. I don't know why I do so many sexual references here, too. <laughs> like, this is supposed to be a kid's game. You you want to know why I do it? It's to protect myself from the fucking FCC shit that happened. I'm gonna be like, oh, this is for kids, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I talked about dick sucking and in and out, in and out, all this other shit. Mm-mm, this, this is not for kids. You all can go home. Well, I guess we couldn't have walked our way to that fucking ticket. I was just curious, I was like, how close can we get to that? Pretty funny, though. Alrighty then, I swear, no. I don't want to talk to anything that I can't actually, like, pulse into. Thank God for this radar missile, or else, like, I would be really fucking annoyed. Because these, these encounters are starting to get to me right now, like, this is fucking obnoxious. Oh wait, we can actually go behind here. Nice little, uh, wave road down here. See, like, it's just, ugh. It's the problem with the encounter rate in this game, it's way too high up there, and I can see why, like, like that. It's way too fucking high, and it's obnoxious. This antenna keeps the building connected to the world. I guess that's helpful. Alright. I'm sure there's something that pops up about that later. Alright, let's see. Mega Man examined the mystery way. He got 390 zenny. Oh yeah, that was worth it. The mysterious entrance. What is this entrance? It's so dark, I can't see inside. Hee hee hee. Who's there? My my, what a particular boy. Your body is all in waves. I am Mother Hills, a fortune teller. <laughs> but if you have no business here, be gone. Yep, we'll have to go back there later. Anyway, I'll just pulse out and pop back up. Because the encounter rate is so fucking obnoxious. But anyway, yeah, it's just, it's just the issue in this game, and that's probably why I don't remember doing a lot of side quest stuff. Especially for post-game, because it's like, going to... I don't really want to spoil it too much, but it's like, hey, do you want to go do this thing? And then I think to myself, I don't want to deal with all those encounters, so that's going to be a fuck no for me, dog. Sorry. Squeaky chair. So, but anyway, uh, oh, alright old man, let's take a look at the Star Carrier. Let's see what we have here. God, his cards are stupid as fuck. I found his book of poetry. Wait a minute, is that supposed to be a joke that he's old so he needs to take his medication, but also, like, the paralyzes because he's got, like, arthritis or some shit? My poetry computers are hard for me. They're neat, I don't see. Buy ivory. Electronics make me lose my hair. Soon there'll be nothing there. Buy ivory. Oh no, this old guy's hair's falling out. So it would seem. We gotta help him before he's go he goes completely bald. Uh, let him be. Okay. Wait, why are we going this way then? Whatever. Uh, I, I will always love the uh, Star Carrier jokes. Or sorry, the uh, saying no to job jokes. Help him. Here we go again. Okay, let's go talk to him. You complain either way, Mega. Shut the fuck up. Better send myself a memo in the mail. I just got some mail. Oh yeah. And ran into a fucking encounter. Oh, hey, there's a there's a G card here. Okay, I could probably do this. All right. Mm. Fucking shit, man. This is gonna suck. I really felt like if I had one more card, I could probably have gotten an S rank. I don't know, I tried keep getting the, the, the Star 3 cards for those G monsters, and I tell you what, it's a pain in the ass. Like, you do everything perfectly, and it's still like, mm, 9. Like a fucking French judge at the Olympics. 